Hey there everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up domains and get your website working for Minecraft and your Minecraft websites with Namecheap. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Be sure to check out this video's sponsor, Sangata. Sangata is a new and unique marketplace where you can find free or paid custom plugins. With the help of continuous user and developer feedback, Sangata is continuously working towards making those ideas a reality. Visit the Sangata marketplace and Discord with the links below. So here we are on Namecheap. I have uh, just went ahead and buy this uh, this domain called mctestwe.xyz. So you can go ahead and purchase your domain that you need to. Once you have purchased your domain, you would just want to go to manage, uh, or you can go to domain list, and it will pop up here as well. So the main thing we're going to come over to advanced DNS. So uh, say you have uh, either like a, a Tebex store or like uh, you know like Bycraft. Uh, basically, you can use uh, this domain to also forward to your website as well as like a discord or something as well so i'm going to show you guys how to uh, set up uh, with minecraft servers as well as like your discord and uh, your shop online store so let's go ahead and do that so by default this is probably what it looks like for you uh, these are default ones that have loaded so you want to click add new record so the first one we're going to be adding is an a record and this is going to be pointing to our minecraft server so this is the first one that we want to do so i'm going to just type uh, mc for this one if you don't want to use any type of uh, like prefix or subdomain you can just use the at symbol and that will cover pretty much your only uh, domain name so for example mine is this right here and then we need the IP address of our server. So my Minecraft server is on Revive Node. I highly recommend them. You guys can come check them out with the link below, as well as using my code Striker for 15% off your purchase. So let's go ahead and copy the specific IP address. So don't include the port, just do the IP address. And then we want to come and paste in the IP address right here. If you have a dedicated IP uh, with a 25565 uh, for the port, uh, you're pretty much done at this point, honestly. So let's go ahead and save the changes and so this would uh, pretty much allow you to type in mc dot uh, mc test we dot xyz or whatever your domain is and directly connect to your minecraft server uh, but i have the port of 8107 so that is why we need to add another record and this record is going to be called the srv record and here it is so you go ahead and put the srv record in right there and then there is a few things that you need to fill in so for the service we're going to do underscore minecraft and that just tells the service that we're going to be using minecraft and then the protocol and needs to be underscore tcp just like so uh, for the priority it can be zero uh, the weight can be zero or five sometimes it doesn't uh, uh, set uh, zero i found so i'm just going to set that to five and then the port is going to be the port of our server which is 8107 so let's go ahead and copy that and we paste it in right here and then now the target so the target is what's going to be pointed back to the main domain name so i'm going to be using so you want to use the host so mc dot and then whatever your domain is so it would be MC and so make sure whatever this matches with your a record that you set up because that is what it's gonna look for to target the IP address so this is gonna be MC and then dot and then this would be the rest of your domain name so MC dot uh, <laughs> it would be MC test we dot XYZ so then you can go ahead and set that to automatic and go ahead and click save changes so there we go as you see it now is added so now we have to wait uh, typically about 10 minutes minutes or so it could be anywhere from like 10 to 24 hours uh, so it just depends on uh, how long it takes you while waiting for these uh, records to finalize on the internet, uh, let's go ahead and add a new record and we're going to uh, drop down to this menu called URL redirect and this will uh, redirect URLs. So for example, if you wanted a discord dot your domain name, this is uh, how you could do that. So we could type in discord and then uh, you don't need to put a, a dot or anything because it will automatically update it. And then now we can enter the destination URL and this would be your discord invitation link. So then you would have it just like here. And and then you can make it a permanent uh, mask and then mask basically uh, this only refers if you want to use uh, some sort of uh, web link this doesn't really apply for discord link so I'm just gonna make this permanent and we go ahead and save the changes and then say you have a store for your minecraft uh, so we could uh, come down here and do the same thing and we can do like a store dot uh, and then this would be your domain name and then you would just uh, go to your store so here is an example of a store that I have so here is the address and then you would just 
just paste in that address right there. So this is where the mask and unmask comes into play. So if you want to mask it, basically you're going to be using uh, the new domain, so it would be store dot and then your domain name, and it would mask the address up here. Uh, so you can go ahead and click yes, and then I'm gonna make a new one just to show you guys the difference between the mask and unmask. So we'll do like a shop, and then we can have the destination, and we're just gonna make this uh, the permanent URL. So let's go ahead and save that. So let's check if the Minecraft domain is registered. So we can do mc.mctestwe.xyz. I know that's the stupid domain, but this would be your domain right here, whatever guys that you have. So let's go ahead and click done. And there we go. It looks like it is now registered. So let's go ahead and join. And, uh, and there we go. We are on the kit PVP server just like that. So, and we have joined the kit PVP server with our custom domain. So let's go ahead and wait for the Discord and the store one to finish. And then we can close off this video. So let's try out our URL redirect. So we have the shop one, uh, which is the permanent. And then we have a mask, uh, which is just the mask for the bycraft. And then we have the Discord one. So let's go ahead and try those out. So first one I'm going to try is Discord and then dot uh, our domain name and so let's go ahead and do that so as you see it does pop up with a discord invite which is really nice so we'll do the mask uh, and then dot our domain name so let's go ahead and enter that as you see it is on the store and this is uh, what the mask one uh, will represent so it will mask the the normal URL so now if we do the the store and then dot our domain name let's go ahead and enter that as you see it does change to the normal URL but it will redirect them with that specific URL that we forwarded to. So anyways, uh, that is uh, how you do the URL redirects. And there we go, that is how you add domains to your Minecraft server and website and Discord if you want that. So anyways, hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Come join my Discord if you do have questions. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Going louder.